contains spoilers for Zack Snyder's Justice League, although audiences haven't seen a full Green Lantern get the spotlight on the big screen since Ryan Reynolds' solo movie back in 2010, one of the Cosmic Core members did make an appearance in the theatrical cut of Justice League. Now that Zack Snyder, the original director behind Justice League, and the folks at Warner Bros. have unleashed his original vision for the film to the world, there's a change to the Green Lantern who was a part of the historical battle against Darkseid's, Ray Porter, forces. This ancient Green Lantern is Yalinger, and yes, he was taken directly from the pages of DC Alliance Comics. To fight apart. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, released on HBO Max on March 18, Yalinger is part of the monumental alliance between the old gods, Atlanteans, Amazons, and the forces of man as they take the fight directly to Darkseid when he arrives on Earth with a staggeringly large army. Although Yalinger fights gallantly, Darkseid, who calls himself Uxas at the time, kills him. <laughs> As Yalinger dies, his Green Lantern ring frees itself from his hand and flies away into the stars. But where did it go? The most obvious answer is that it speeds back to the base world of the Green Lantern Corps, the planet Oa. However, in the comics, Yalinger's Green Lantern ring actually winds up in a completely different place, contributing to a mythical item in the DC Universe. In the pages of DC Comics, Yalan Gur's ring becomes part of the Starheart after the Guardians of the Universe remove a flaw in Yalan Gur's Green Lantern ring that left him vulnerable to the color yellow, and thus certain opponents and types of attacks, Yalan Gur is granted near limitless power. <laughs> This quickly corrupts Yalinger, and he decides to control his sector, 2184, to be exact, how he sees fit, rather than keep it a peaceful place. What Yalinger doesn't count on is the Guardians becoming aware of his transgressions and deciding to give his ring a weakness to wood. This ends up proving a fatal decision, as Yalinger's attention quickly turns to Earth as humanity is developing primitive technology at an alarming rate. Right there, a power hidden in the infinity of space. The now misguided Green Lantern starts a violent campaign against a city in China out of fear that its citizens might one day overthrow him. You can see where this is going, right? With wooden spears and arrows, the Chinese forces shoot Yalan Gur out of the sky, and he burns up in the atmosphere. Clearly, not even the lanterns are immune from the corruption that goes hand in hand with the allure of true power. However, instead of Yalan Gur's Green Lantern ring hurtling back to Oa, it burns up into a green hunk of matter before being caught up in the Starheart. What's the Starheart? Well, it's an amalgamation of mystical energies in the universe, obviously. When it crashes to Earth after Yalan Gur's death, a man called Yang crafts it into the shape of a lantern. <laughs> Centuries later, the Starheart finds its way into the possession of one Alan Scott. Sound familiar? Scott is the very first Green Lantern, who debuted back in 1940. So, is Yalan Gur's inclusion in Zack Snyder's Justice League a very distant Alan Scott Easter egg? Sort of.